Hey friends, Dave here and welcome to Mixture Overview. This is kind of releasing out of nowhere, out of most of the releases nowadays on the Quest Store. Like this is the whole problem, if you would not do your research or actually just be into this space, you would never realize something's happening and it's just the overall lack of communication. At this point in the game I have my own tools to search and find out what's going on, but it's like for the average Joe there's so much limited information out there it is just a weird situation altogether for me. So Mixture is an action adventure platformer where, I'll just quote this because it literally makes no sense to me. Two enemies in an alliance of necessity traverse barren worlds in a quest for redemption. It's just words and words but nothing's going on from them. <laughs> it seems to be essentially like a dark themed version of Carly and the Reaper Man and Van Vier Adventure. I do like going in that direction, kind of like fantasy hellish environments and alchemical magic to help out the main character. Though there are some things that I'm quite confused about. For example, they mentioned you can play it in first and third person perspective, but I don't think that means anything because first is the actual person like watching over the battlefield and third person like, you know, this little character. But for some reason it wants to imply that you can play in first person with this Moth Knight thing. Kind of like a Devil May Cry-ish style, but that's definitely not gonna be true. In terms of graphics and textures overall, I mean, they have some weird gloss over them. A lot of things are shiny and reflective, which I'm not sure how that's gonna look like in the headset. The levels seem well designed, but something is off, and I don't know if it's the lack of depth or there's too much simplistic stuff going on for a platformer. At this point, I welcome any game of this kind because this is one of my favorite genres. But so far to me, it's literally a mixture of many things that I'm not sure if they will go together. So let's find out what is it about. Throwing and hitting targets is a central mechanic of... <laughs> Thanks. Press and hold grab to get mixture in hand, then throw mixture at target. Um... But uh, it's too fast. I mean, do I need a throw assist? Guess from precision, we'll see. Okay, is it gonna be that important? Sephiris Landa Ikano Young Baharti Landa Ikano Breed and Terrek Akumazi Strathosen. The Guara did it. Aranya Spirit. Belt 
best friend at Yago. Kill it! Okay, so it is like those platformers that we've got so far on the platform. This has fixed camera. It's the same story with Van VR. We can't go in the back. We essentially have to turn around to actually just see stuff, but that might be the same story that eventually they might change it. So I can't jump, I can like dash. kind of interactions, okay. It's pretty cute. I'll definitely have to be on the lookout for the ingredients then. Yeah, the environments are rather basic. It's not what I've seen before with the detail design. But we'll see. Maybe the combat is gonna be more complicated. Um, oh shit myself. The suns are very light, like pretty quiet. Um, I didn't read it. Oops. Can't pay attention to everything. <laughs> I don't know what to do, like. Something's going on. 
though my HP is not. Okay, I'll just have to wait then. Uh. Oof. <laughs> Thank God I realized what to do. Have you got a start? Dark. Oh, breed on Terrek. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm digging it. Like, the game for some reason has not much impact if it's in the audio design or just the combat or. Like, it clearly seems indie. <laughs> I can glide, okay. Oh, now I get it. It's just like a dark moat moss <laughs> quill. I wish the text would be like below when I actually see them. Oh, okay. I need to really move my head then. Under <laughs> Ben. Naked. Yali Kalan Mile Makah Doyal Meke. What does gloat mean? Lachter Sunden Yanisa. Have you got a start? Sulen. Makah doyal. Vaket mi kasel. Kseni melia ei kasel. Kule mantan yali. Makah doyal. Meke. Vaket mi kasel. Laneka. I guess. Nando Vachti Ross. Breed on Terrek. Vamelitis. Yali Kalan Mile. Niki. Yali. New attacks and combos. Hey, that's what I was missing from all the platforming games. 
the complexity in terms of mechanics. What is this? Chain combos, charge attacks, advanced combos. Okay, so it's gonna be possible in the future. Cool. Does the camera is always like an Achilles heel in those games? I suppose those are those free environments. Which one I know is the right one? I guess this, but... <laughs> Sorry! That was a shortcut. Is this to craft something? Like... Okay. Yeah, I think it's too simplistic, honestly, for my taste. Like, the design is there. It just needs to be more detailed because the headset definitely can handle it, looking at Van, Moss, all the other ones. It's like, the game seems cool, but it's not very effective, if that makes sense, like... The design's clearly... There, it's just... Something is, like, not enough. It seems like we don't store the supplies between the stages. We also can't gather things with left hand, only with right. I guess that makes sense. To comfortably look back, turn comfortably. Oh, we have stuff here as well, so wow. <laughs> there are collectibles. I mean, it's simple here as well. But I guess we can jump down? Why? Oh, we can glide, I forgot. So it's like... Big scale. That's a nice indicator. I mean, smooth turning should be a standard. So maybe that's why it's not that detailed, because it's very open world ish.
Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, it's time. Um, so far, it's interesting, but I'm not sure in what way. <laughs> like, there is some thought into it. The devs clearly don't have like an amazing experience in VR, so there's room for growth and few stuff to be adjusted for a more pleasurable experience. I think we'll continue it in the future when I'll have the time to do so, because it has potential and I always had a gripe that the combat and the mechanics were always too simplistic in the platformers on our platform and this might be the game that expands on that. I like that you feel a part of the world, meaning you interact with mixtures, throw them around and help out Sola. We're not like a brainless character with no personality that is just hanging around here. There's some stuff going on and we'll see how it's gonna go. So far I'm just curious how it's gonna revolve. <laughs>